Hey you guys, it's Karen and I thought I would come and tell you the things that I use and love from Superdrug and the things that I do not recommend. Um, somebody actually requested this and I had already started listing some things from Superdrug um, intended on doing some kind of Superdrug video so um, I think this is a good one. So I've got most of the things that I am, that are favourites, there's one thing that I don't have um, and then with the things that I'm not recommending I've either tried and you know thrown or given away um, or I'll put a little picture in for you and tell you the reason that I wouldn't try that. I'll start with my favourites and obviously if you've been watching me for a while some of these will be repeats and you'll kind of know about um, and others I've just recently discovered. So the first thing is this, this is the Be Pure Micellar Water. I don't know if this is being discontinued or not, there seems to be these little ones available in the store at the moment um, but I have loved this for a long time and this is the number one micellar water that I go, that I like to have in stock if you like. It's just, it doesn't leave any kind of film feeling on my face, it feels just like I'm using a toner. I don't use it as a makeup remover, I do just use it to take off any residue of any oily makeup remover um, and to kind of refresh my skin in the morning and give it a little bit of a cleanse and take off any you know it makes your eyes feel lovely when you put this over your eyes in the morning it doesn't sting or anything so this is my favorite micellar water and I have tried a lot um, the other thing that I don't think I've showed you before but I have been enjoying a lot is this. This is the Be Effective Stubborn Makeup Remover. So it is one of those oil and liquid um, type products that you guys don't know that you guys know I love. Um, like I love the, the Inky List one, there's one by Glossier. Um, I just love products like that and I have been using that to take off my eye makeup and then a kind of first pass on my face makeup and then following it with my micellar water and it is brilliant. It's not one that you need to rub too hard, it's not one that you need to use too much, you know, it is, it's really, really good and of course they're really, really affordable. Also to mention in skincare that I do like and would recommend is the me plus range i'll put pictures in of all the different products that they do um, because they've got quite a big range and i have done a dedicated video on the super drug me plus range um, and i think i tried the lactic acid i tried the niacinamide um a couple of other things that i can't actually remember now but they they do do a lot of products in their range but there's there's a mostly things that i wouldn't be interested in so there's a couple of cleansers and i don't really use cleansers um you know, they're ones that you use with water. There's a hyaluronic acid booster, and you guys know I've kind of stopped using that as a single ingredient. Um, the niacin and, niacin and zinc I would definitely use. Um, salicylic acid I don't use. Collagen boosters, I, I don't think there is anything that you can use as a collagen booster that is collagen, if you know what I mean. I think that you can boost your collagen in other ways by using tretinoin and um, vitamin C even. And there's an AHA fruit acid booster that I haven't tried. There's an antioxidant SPF booster, um, but it's a chemical sunscreen, so I wouldn't buy that. They have a polyglutamic acid. That's something that I might try in the future, um, but I'm not desperate to. And they've got a CB oil, CBD oil, um, which sounds nice if you like using oils. So there's nothing there specifically that I would jump on just now. I can't remember what I thought about the niacinamide, that's the only one I can think I might have loved. Um, but I would recommend that any of those products would be okay for you to try. I don't think any of them are amazing but there is, there are no fragrances in them. They seem to be quite good percentage of actives and no fragrance and alcohol so they seem to be a pretty good range. There's a tranexamic acid um, which is really interesting. Do they actually say the percent on that? Yeah, they do. It's a 2.5%. Um, that's a kind of new new ingredient that I've seen a, a few people doing videos on um, for discoloration of the skin. So yeah, the Me, Me Plus range I think is a really good range. The final item that is a favourite and that I don't have is just because I keep forgetting to buy it every time I go into Superdrug is the Be Pro Lip Scrub. It is amazing. It is just a twist up, looks like a lip balm, but it is, has got um, you know something in it to exfoliate your lips and it always feels really, really nice to use. Um, it's something I've repurchased a few times in the past. I have showed it, but a long, long time ago. Um, and you know, it's a lovely price and it really does wonders for my lips when they're dry you just run it across your lips and it's it's not too harsh that you feel like you're being too rough but it is 
it's a strong lip, lip scrub you know it's not one that there's barely anything in it but your lips still feel lovely and smooth and moisturized after using it so um that's one i would recommend um but on to makeup i do have one item in makeup which is this and i've got this in this color um which is apricot and this is a liquid blush and i've also got this in a berry color and i love it i absolutely love it um, i don't use cream blush that much so you won't hear me talking about it too often but um when I do, I like my Glossier ones and I like these. And actually, if I'd have known these existed, I probably wouldn't have bought the Glossier ones because these are just as good. Um, really, really pretty, stay on really well. Um, yeah, and then I wear, I tend to wear cream blushes when I'm not wearing any foundation, when I'm not wearing any, you know, a big day of makeup, I'll just put on a little bit of cream blush to give me a color. And these ones are fantastic, they stay put. Um, then on to hair care so for hair care you guys know i love my um black caster and shea hydrate and replenish conditioner um i didn't like the leave-in mask but i do love this and i have repurchased this now four or five times it's just it's a real thin um conditioner is there no, there's no way I'm going to show you it from there it's too empty it's down to about there um it's a real thin conditioner it smells amazing it smells like to me what you would imagine an argan scented conditioner to smell like just smells delicious um and it goes through your hair so easily because it's quite thin it's not thin as in runny but it's just thin and it just feels like it just soaks into your hair and takes through all the tangles and my hair always feels detangled and i love it i absolutely love it so that's a favorite conditioner and then I've actually got two favourite shampoos here that I don't think I've showed you before. Um, and you can see I've been using both of them. Um, one is the Avocado and Manuka Honey Shampoo, Nourish and Smooth for normal, dry and damaged hair. And then this one is the Rose Hip and Cactus Fruit Shampoo, Protect and shine i think it says for colored hair um i bought this one more because it was a bit more translucent it was the time i was trying to find one that was um kind of deep cleansing i know this one wouldn't be deep cleansing because it's for colored hair but you know i was just more into translucent shampoos but actually i ended up then buying this one and i like both of these i would use both of these again um so far i think i would choose this one i just feel like it's sort of it's a little bit less this one's a very moisturizing shampoo this is really nice if your hair is feeling dry this would be great but i feel like it leaves a slight film on my hair and although this doesn't leave my hair squeaky clean as i used to say i loved with the tress me um deep cleansing shampoo it, it's fine it's absolutely fine um i love the smell got great lather they're really really nice shampoos for being you know a kind of basics range if you like an own brand range they're really really good and i would would and probably will repurchase both of those going forward as my shampoos okay so on to fails or things that i do not recommend um the cleansing oil so not this is an oil and water but i did try their cleansing oil which is one you use you know in the shower etc i didn't enjoy that one i showed that in my empties because it stung my eyes so other than that it was okay but it just really stung my eyes so that's a big no for me um I mentioned that I love the castor oil conditioner, but I don't love their leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner just didn't feel like it did anything except kind of slightly weigh my hair down a bit. So yeah, I didn't love that at all. The Soleil Tan, I had been trying that for quite a while. Um, they've got a little bottle of Soleil Tan face serum and I've tried a few of the different Soleil Tan range. I, I spent a fortune in there one day and bought kind of every type like a, you may remember me showing it they were all in blue bottles I remember and I got the mousse and the cream and the gradual tan and all the rest of it and they're really nice and they develop really nice but they come off very quickly for some reason on me they're just you know it's like you're removing makeup and you're like Where, what is this but it's it's the tan color and that doesn't happen with other tans that I use so that's no good for me unfortunately um, and I had one naturally rate from the naturally radiant skincare range I had a moisturizer I loved it but it was super duper fragranced and so the whole naturally radiant range is I believe um, and although they're lovely and they feel nice on the skin and I don't think they irritated me I wouldn't want to take the risk with using them again because they were very highly fragranced and finally they do a simply pure range and I haven't tried that so I can't recommend or otherwise with that um, I wouldn't buy the face wash but I might try the Carmen cleanser next time I'm in because that's £2.99 the ingredients look absolutely fine and that's just looks like a milky cleanser that you use with cotton pads so I would probably try that I would probably try the toner um, and there is a there are two serums one for the day one for the night 
not an awful lot of difference in those but they look okay as well but it's a serum and so I it won't be hydrating enough on its own it'll be something you're supposed to put under a night cream um, and so for me I'm kind of putting my actives underneath my night cream you know or um or I've got a night cream that's hydrating enough on its own and I don't need another product I just think products like that a hydrating serum maybe they would work for really oily skin if you don't want to use an oil uh, sorry really dry skin if you don't want to use an oil um, but I just I find them difficult to fit into my routine so yeah it's not a yes or no from them it's a maybe so I will try and pick up some of those items in my next the next time I'm shopping and doing a haul and then finally I wouldn't unfortunately recommend the optimum range um, I perhaps should have done its own its own review but uh, because I do get asked asked about this range quite a lot but a lot of this stuff is in jars um, which is a smaller thing somebody asked what what the issue with these with jars was for me it's the bacteria you know you're putting your hands in it you've been touching other things before you're putting your hands in it um even if it's to get it out of your drawer or to get out of your makeup bag it's just there's too much bacteria keep dipping your fingers in a in a, a jar i do occasionally buy stuff in a jar but um it's not it's not my favorite thing um but also with the optimum range the retinol for example is not retinol it's retinol palmitate which is just not something i would use during the day on my skin um, and it's not retinol it is a retinol ester so it is weaker than retinol um, and it also has perfume in it which why they would put perfume in something with a retinol of any kind in is just beyond me because it it's an irritating ingredient and so is fragrance and um, so i would avoid that and the optimum collagen there's no collagen in it you can't buy something that you put on your skin and it's collagen you know I and mean, there's also perfume in it so um, it's not a range that I would recommend at all I would say go for the me plus range if you are looking to buy something from Superdrug so that's um, everything from Superdrug I hope that that was helpful to you um, I know that you guys in the USA are every time I do a video on Superdrug you're like oh I wish we had Superdrug here um, I wish you did too but I, I think there's shops that we wish we had here like Target and Ulta and what's the other one Target Ulta there was another one mentioned oh Sephora obviously um, and we used to be able to buy from Sephora I used to order all the time from Sephora but I can't do it anymore we can only get to the, the French Sephora site which doesn't have all the items that you guys have in America so that's kind of frustrating but it is what it is let me tell you what I'm wearing makeup wise and I will love you and leave you I have got on the KVD foundation the good apple foundation um, on my eyes is a Natasha Denona it's the eyeshadow it's called eyeshadow palette 05 and it's, it's a slim one with five um, five shadows in it two of which are green three of which are just kind of this neutral color that I've got on my eyes I really like it um, on my cheeks is the blush flower beauty blush in sweet pea um, on my lips is kvd lolita um, I think that's everything isn't it yeah that's everything thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon